All right, welcome back and thank you for staying with us right here on Morning at NTV. We are getting into that very contentious conversation with regards to the Central Executive Committee election that is take, uh, taking center stage today to vote uh, to fill those nine topmost organs within the NRM. Well, the Electoral Commission released a revised electoral roadmap in June 2020 and key among the announcements was the decision to have campaigns conducted scientifically or virtually and not the usual open campaigns due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, following the announcement of the revised roadmap, the NRM party, among other parties, also released its own with the key milestones to follow. The nominations followed, and we have seen yet again President Museveni stand for the opposition, stand for the position of party chairman and presidential flag bearer unopposed. Also, the youth elections were conduct, concluded just this week, and we saw that the NRM party won most of the positions. Well, this week again, we have seen the NRM hold a virtual delegates conference across its 42 zones. It was successful, by the way, and to delve to, into this and more, I'm now joined by uh, Ms. Kasula Mumba, the NRM Secretary General, and Sara Birete. She is the Executive Director for the Center for Constitutional Governance in Uganda. Very good morning, ladies. Welcome to Morning at NTV. Good morning, Romeo, and mm -hmm. uh, good morning, viewers. All right. Uh, let me start with you, Ms. Lumumba. Tell us about this week. I want you to blow NRM's trumpet. You've been doing so well. You trounced the youth elections. You had a successful delegates conference, and now we are having the SEC elections. So help us understand what has transpired this week and what should we look forward to today, Thursday. Thank you so much. Good morning, viewers. One, we won elections for the people with disabilities, the special interest groups at the village. We also won elections so for the people with this, for the for the the elderly at the village, and also we won the youth election at the village. So I want to congratulate those who went through, but in especially I want to congratulate people who belong to those special interest groups, because this time it has happened early, and everybody was sensitized. The other time it came in in the middle of so many activities. I want to thank the Electoral Commission for, for, for so far. Mm -hmm. You know it is so wide. Every village, the 60,700 villages, all have to take a vote. And taking a vote for some of the, 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 two, li the two SIGs are five members, but the one for the youth are nine. That means they held elections on every village for, 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 uh, for nine posts. That's not simple exercise mm -hmm. in the whole country. But I also want to, call, to thank the leadership at the villages, yes. both for political parties, but also those in the local government or LOC systems, because it, was, it involved everybody. Because in some areas, we find people are not even interested, but the leaders encourage the people who belong to those particular areas to go. I want to thank them. But I want to also, in a special way, thank you, media, because you played a role. I would watch TVs to see, and I would see you are pulling out the different areas, all media houses. I want to thank you, including thank radio. You. As NRM, we, on the 11th and 12th, we had Central Executive Committee that uh, listened and uh, listened to the candidates and uh, made a recommendation to the National Executive Council, which National Executive Council we held on the 18th, which was Tuesday. That was National Executive Council. That is part of the process of the national conference. So it is today mm -hmm. that we are holding the national conference. But the national conference, because of COVID, we've now only taken on the activity of voting. Mm -hmm. And then the keynote address by the national chairman of NRM was printed and it is given to the, to the members in the folder. I've actually carried a folder. You know I'm a teacher by profession. So I believe in it. So we've sent a folder. Mm. This is the NRM folder. And in there, we have the notebook of NRM. We've given them the roadmap, mm. the revised roadmap, political roadmap of NRM. The, the keynote address by the national chairman of NRM. Instead of him talking to them, yes. we could not manage the cost for all of the 142 districts in NRM. Mm. So we instead printed it out and sent it to them, and they, they will receive it. This is the folder. And in there, they also have the Secretary General's speech, mm. which uh, this is the, the Secretary General's report. Right. It is also here. Mm. We have the, the, the milestones that NRM has registered at national level. Mm. But uh, we are also compiling that zone by zone. Mm. But we have also included 
the, the key speeches by the national chairman for the different functions of the party, mm -hmm. but we have also included the notice for the meeting, because this, this, this is a legal issue, the notice we have to give them, but also we've included the guidelines for the, the guidelines for the, for the SEC, NEC, for the different meetings, mm -hmm. the guidelines as approved by SEC. So everything has been set. Mm. And we have even sent the, 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 the facilitation to the members. Because we as a political party, w which has members in NRM, we are entitled to funding by, by all political parties that have representation in the parliament are entitled to funding. So we as the NRM, we've put our resources to this, for this particular exercise, because it is something uh, well, that must be done. Under the Political Parties and Organization Act, Section 10, mm -hmm. the executive of every party is, uh, we, the, we are supposed to hold the elections every after five years. So there was no way, even if we have COVID, we couldn't avoid this. And that's why we went for the elections for the, for the, for the executive committee. Mm -hmm. Then the executive committee after the election will have to take a decision and uh, most likely to segment the, 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 the elections of the different structures, yes. leadership in the, in the structures of the party. But also, we took advantage of the regulations that were passed by Parliament, that were presented to Parliament by the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. And uh, we are set. What I want to say is that we are observing the COVID-19 regulations as the uh, and we have also involved the task force to make sure the COVID-19 regulations are enforced. And we have also facilitated them to be able to provide the sanitizer, to be able to provide the, the soap and water. And nobody should pass the tent and it's the first tent. Even when they queue or line up, they should observe the social distancing. Mm -hmm. It will be disheartening and disturbing to be told that this person got COVID from your activity as mm -hmm. a party. It will, it will not be good for us. All right, Lumumba. And also, before I go to Sarah Videte, the confirmed COVID-19 cases that uh, were found at the NRM Secretariat, how are they responding to treatment? Is the situation getting better, or have you even confirmed oh, more cases? We have, we, so far, mm. there are three confirmed cases. Are they recuperating? Two of them mm. were admitted. The first two mm. were admitted in Mulago. And they were given certificates. They are out jumping. Mm. If I show that this is the one, you could not believe. Yes. Mm. But the reason was, the, the situation was arrested mm. early. Actually, mm. they took them when they were crying, saying, what shows that I'm sick? Mm. What shows that I'm they sick? They were symptomatic. And one of them actually was there for only 10 days. 10 days and was given a certificate and come, came mm. out. Before even the people who were quarantined because of being in contact mm. to that person were out. So... Then uh, one other co one the third person was a contact to one of the first two, and that one is still is still in hospital. Okay, good enough. For us who had been us mm. for us who had been quarantined, part of my team who are quarantined, they have also received their certificates. They are out. But why am we are, we and um, I thank you for asking me this. I want to tell you members mm. of, of of our communities, mm. for us as NRM, which one? This one. Mm. For us as NRM at the Secretariat, it is no longer that we hear about COVID from far. COVID is with us. So we have to be extra careful. For me, I'm telling you because I've seen it happen. Mm. You know? So please, but in the case you get COVID, go to the, to, the, to the required health centers, the hubs for testing, so that the moment you get in the hands of the health workers, early in the time, the gazetted places, the places that are really able to, to handle. Because not all, all health centers have been sensitized or have facilities to handle mm -hmm. the COVID cases. But the Minister of Health has come out to tell us which ones we should go to. But when you get to the hands of the health, the health workers early in time, you can recover. One of my, my staff, more of a senior staff, was able to recover after 10 days. Indeed, people are, are recovering. And uh, that is the NRM Secretary General, Justin Kasule Lumumba. She's not alone. I also do have Sarah Birete. She is the Executive Director for the Center for Constitutional Governance. Sarah, I understand you have a lot you're itching to, you know, 
<laughs> tell me about this has been a very contentious week you had the youth elections monday it didn't go so well we had another round of elections on tuesday also which didn't go well there was a lot of violence and then we noticed the nrm delegates conference they were doing so well bobby wine in imbale tear gas and so forth yet kasula Lumumba and her people were enjoying life as it was at the delegate conference what do you make of this whole week what are the t major takeaways for you well, I, I first wish to congratulate the youth mm -hmm. who have gone through the exercise of electing their, mm -hmm. their leaders at village level, I think LC1 and LC2. Mm -hmm. But also I, I wish to, as t to call upon the youth who m did not vote, because a lot of youth turned up to vote, mm -hmm. but they were not on the youth, on the voters register for the special interest groups, yes. and they were not allowed to vote. Yet previously, the Electoral Commission had com communicated that anybody who is on the National Voters Register and is a youth, they will be allowed to vote. Mm. I also want to underscore the fact that voter education mm. maybe was interrupted by, by COVID. Mm. We, do not ha we have not seen proper mm. voter education mm. for these elections, like in the previous elections. Mm. So even the registration of special interest to group members to participate did not go so well so many youth turned up and were turned away and that was part of the cause of violence mm. because if i'm eligible to vote mm. and i'm on the national register why should i be excluded because i missed out mm. you know the multiple re requirement for people to keep registering as voters mm. so why should they why were they turned away so i think that was a part of the causes of violence mm. but going back to the national scale Mm. Maybe I will start with the situation of Jeno Tumkunde. Jeno mm. Tumkunde was arrested in Buyukwe? Yes. In a meeting of 10 people, observing mm. COVID measures, picked up by, by police. Then subsequent to that, mm. he has been summoned for meeting army veterans. Yes. And it's very clear in our electoral laws, both the Constitution and the Political Parties and Organizations Act, mm. Retired army officers are free to enjoy their fundamental rights and freedoms. Right. They are not prohibited from participating in any political activities. And that's why we have candidates who are former army mm. officers like Jeno Tumkunde, Kizabesi, and others. So how would, you, how would you respond to CID's Charles Twine who says they summoned him because he was talking to these army veterans and there was a case of uh, national security? What is state? the crime involved? Mm. You know, we have seen a situation, and, and, and at times I, I, I like to commend the efforts of, mm. of Honorable Mumba. Mm. If especially during COVID, she kept saying, arrest even NRA members who are violating COVID measures. Mm. I think on two occasions. So we have double standards by police, and we have electoral commission which takes a back seat, as if the police is in charge of conducting elections in this country. The mandate to ensure that we have a leveled ground for all political prayers and have free and fair credible elections is vested on the electoral commission by the constitution in Article 61. But the electoral commission takes a back seat as if police is in charge of elections in this country. Even after repeal of Section 32 and Section 8 of the Political Parties and Organizations mm -hmm. Act, of the Public Order Management Act, and Section 32 of the Police Act, we still have police which thinks they have a duty to allow or disallow public meetings. And it's really disturbing. The Constitutional Court has pronounced itself on two occasions mm -hmm. that the police in this country has no business allowing or disallowing public gatherings. Mm -hmm. So you wonder what laws they are using to do all the business they are doing, and we condemn it in strong terms. Mr. Lumumba, address those concerns. Partisanship of the police, is there favoritism uh, towards the NRM uh, people? One, I want to make this clear. Mm. Police is part of the team, part of the state, that is supposed to implement the NRM manifesto. Two, I also want to make it clear that as NRM, we decided to separate the party and the government. So I'm not a spokesperson of police. Mm. But for me as a participant, I can make a comment. One, police is not supposed to favor anybody. First of all, there are laws for everything. We have the, the public order management bill Thank where you. we went act where we even went as the uh, iPod. We went ahead and made proposals to the Prime Minister 
for the implementation of the of the Public Order Management Act. We made proposals as mm. political parties. Mm. So we expected that by now these proposals would have been taken over by government and passed them and taken them to parliament for approval so that they easy the implementation of the Public Order Management Act. Let me just pull out like section six. When they talk of uh, of uh, people, the the, peop the person or the agent organize, uh, on behalf of the organizer to inform police about the the about the the public meeting, it does not mean it does not say to seek permission. The issue is to inform police. Just but, like what you've been doing, and that's what I also do mm. in writing. Whatever activity I write, and I, I make sure where it is, you are even supposed to attach the consent of the person who owns the facility where you want to have the meeting. What about the moment, Wait, mm. the moment you mm. have done that, mm. the responsibility of police right. is not to give you permission, but the responsibility of police is to see, is it a safe place? Can it accommodate that number? And if not, they, they are required to inform you within a time frame so that you look for, uh, for, for another place mm. or venue for the function. So... But the, 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 we made our contribution, but equal as the Secretary General, who was part of it and who encouraged my colleagues from other political parties, and worked together as political parties. Government has not worked on this. But nevertheless, I want to say, if a political party, if an individual has, has met the requirements of a particular law under which he or he is operating, whether to do with elections or even outside elections, the issues are clear. And I would urge police, when something happens, let them, they, they let them come out and explain their actions. Mm -hmm. Because they are accountable to Ugandans. Like, equal, I'm also accountable to the, to the political party, NRM. Right. But not only NRM, because the NRM is the party in leadership in this country. I'm also accountable to Ugandans. So I would urge you, the IGP and your team, mm -hmm. come out and explain. Because sometimes they put these questions to us. And we should not be the ones to explain because we've not been there. You've not shared the information. It, you complicate work of Ms. political Ms. parties. Ms. But Mobert. most importantly, yes. like she has said, I would really urge you, law enforcement officers, mm. don't, favor, don't favor anybody. Yes. Don't favor NRM. If I've not met the requirements, let me know that I've not met the requirements and I, 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 I meet the requirements. If I've chosen a smaller place for a big number, let me know so that I get the proper place. Because if you don't, if you don't enforce your, your, if you don't enforce the law, or if you enforce it favoring others, you complicate the process. We want to have a credible process. Just like what we, we saw in Koboko. We have to have a credible <coughs> process to all. Just like what we saw in Koboko when Honorable Anite disregarded COVID-19 guidelines and she held a procedure in Koboko as a full minister. Does this mean that the NRM party position, they, you disregard all laws because you're the ruling NRM party? By the way, we have over 1,800 mm. candidates p contesting for parliamentary seats. Yes. So if you are telling me about one honorable vanity, and the minister, one, the vice wait, leader. One, the, the one for, <laughs> for Shema yes. and the one for, for, for Lira. Mm. It's a smaller percentage. But they are big But it is, they, they have big impact when it comes to issues of COVID. Mm. But also the, 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 the perception, the picture we are giving out as the party in mm. leadership. Mm. So don't say all. Single out to those few, mm. but I'm telling you the number for mm. parliamentary. But small as it is, even one matters because we need all people safe. Mm. But what I want to have, I issued statements. Sarah has even said, mm. I issued statements and said, police arrest anybody. Nobody is above the law. That's why you see when President Yuri Kaguta Museveni, he also observes a few hours. He's not going out. Even when he has gone out, he has to announce, and he cannot even stop on the roadside because people will gather, and he cannot control, cannot enforce social distancing. And so nobody is above the law, whether you are in yellow, whether you are in blue, whether you belong to a political party, whether you belong to any institution, whether religious or cultural, we are all supposed to be under the same law. And whoever does not enforce the law, mm. IGP arrest that person. 
Because it's the person causing us challenges. But the IGP says it doesn't have the powers to arrest these people because that is a cabinet issue since they are big no, ministers. No, no, no. There is no law in this no country. Good. Let them mm. quote. Which law favors a secretary general that I should not be arrested? Mm. Which law? It is only the president. Mm. They should not create their own laws. Let them come out and explain mm. which law. Yes, I saw the spokesperson saying we don't have the powers. Let him come and educate me as mm. Kasule Rumumba, who is not a lawyer, that he, this is the law for which, under which I'm not allowed to arrest a minister. Mm -hmm. Ministers can be arrested. And is it in this NRM government, in this very term, haven't we seen ministers arrested? Haven't we seen ministers paraded in court? Hasn't it happened? It has happened. Not over COVID-19. Not over COVID, but I'm just telling you, mm. it is... It is, it is, we, we are all subjected under the same law. Yes. It should not be applied favorably. Mm. It should not favor certain people. And it should not even favor NRM. What we want is a credible process all right. of this election. But I also want to request the electoral commission. Go ahead. From what Sarah said, mm. if there are challenges, call whoever you can call. As electoral commission, you have the powers to have a discussion with everybody and even issue statements, issue guidelines, issue, issue regulations if need be. They, they, nobody should have an excuse. Because look at even where we have COVID, Parliament went ahead to say we will not sit indoors, let's sit outside. They provided a big tent so that <coughs> even where there is business in the government, work should not stop mm. because Governance issues should not stop because there is no parliament. You know. NRM Secretary no General excuse. Justin Kasule Lumumba, thank you very much for that wonderful submission. I also do have Sarah Birete. She's the Executive Director for the Constitution Center for Constitutional Governance Uganda. Sarah Birete, uh, Sarah Birete, let's talk about opposition politics. A very, very, very uh, <laughs> disturbing development came out yesterday. It left young people within the FDC crying, many of them mm, men and women who saw Kiza Besige opting to step away from the 2021 election. What do you make of all this, and what do you think will be the implications on the opposition? No, I, I think I'll, I want to start talking about the, the status of multipartism multi in this Go country. Ahead. We are going into a fourth election under mm. multiparty politics. Mm. But the nature of our multi-party dispensation or the, the, the political maturity for the multi-party dispensation to take root is still wanting. I, I, I want to highlight the fact that yeah. NRM has internal democracy but at lower levels in the party. They have the top seat of the party sealed or gazetted for one person but through their processes and unfortunately, the, also the second top seat in the party was also gazetted, where we saw efforts to make sure al Haj Chugongo go through and oppose it. So the, to the internal democracy at the top mm -hmm. leadership within NRM party is, is problematic. Mm -hmm. But they have democracy at lower levels within the party, and, and I want to credit them for that. We wish to see more. We wish to see an open at the top. We want to see, we wish to see contestation. For the so top they, leadership the historicals the are protecting themselves. There, there is ring fencing for top mm. leadership, and it is not healthy for the development of multi party mm. dispensation. Go ahead. But if you look at the opposition parties, FDC was doing well previously until the challenge that came, that led to the fallout with the Genome Chamunto mm. and others. Mm. There were a lot of internal discomfort. There were disagreements on, 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 on the political, on the direction of, of the party, mm. defiance versus, you know, organization and building up party structures. So they could not agree. But I also want to say that as, a, as an observer on the civil society perspective, there is still a gap on the ability to contain dissent within parties. We have seen situations within NRM where uh, they have rebel MPs. They have taken them to court. Mm -hmm. They have attempted to expel them for holding a divergent view from that of the majority members of the party. And that is also a challenge mm -hmm. for our development of multi-party dispensation in this country. So the same now went to FDC, where they had internal dissent, internal disagreements. They had an election that led to a fallout. So that injured... FDC in a bigger way. 
As for Kiza Besige stepping down, it's a very good development and I wish to commend him for that effort. Africa largely suffers from the big man syndrome mm -hmm. in our politics. You have the big men that are indispensable as if if they failed to wake up, the country would come to a halt. We have seen this that has led, of course, to amendment of the constitution twice to lift term limits, to lift age limit, just to enable President Seven to keep in power. So we, ha we are also grappling with this problem of the big man syndrome, mm. as if a country should be at the mass of an individual, Politics of as identity. if a party should be at the mass of an individual. So it's good for Besige to let mm. FDC breathe away from him as he continues to enjoy his civil and political rights as mm. a citizen mm. and as a member of FDC. But the internal challenges that FDC failed to contain. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at people who have followed events within FDC from its formation in 2005, FDC had a clear laid out succession plan. FDC, you know many people were saying, oh, at least we see a party with the internal democracy. Then they lost it. They snapped. They snapped. Mm -hmm. They are grappling with challenges, but they can hold it up. You know, like Martin Luther King said, you know, the true character of a man is not determined in moments of comfort and convenience, but at the time, at the height of controversy. True. So the, the public jury is out there. We are watching FDC if they can put their act together or if they can collapse. Mm -hmm. So it's up to them either to show that they have what it takes to carry on as a, a, a big political player in our politics, mm -hmm. Or they can collapse. So let's see how the process goes on. We see how they get a person to step mm -hmm. in the shoes of Kiza Besige, mm -hmm. which are not very small. We see how they fare mm -hmm. in, in the 2021 elections. And yeah. that will determine their space, so whether they will remain relevant or not. As so, so Sarah, player. does the absence of the retired Colonel Kiza Besige in this race give actually Bobby Wine some kind of momentum? to cement his uh, role in the opposition and also take on President Museveni in 2021 because Kiza Besige was a formidable po uh, force. Bob Wine has his own momentum. Yes. Maybe it could be that Bob Wine's momentum could yeah. have led to the exit of Besige, yeah. but I don't think it's the other way around. Bob Wine has his own momentum. So for him he quitting, does it increase base. his momentum? We are, we, we, we are yet to yeah. see that, mm. but I think Bob Wine has his space. Mm. And Besige could have maintained his mm. space, except they failed to manage issues within FDC. But Bob Wine has his space. The Bob Wine wave really has its own space. It's unstoppable. They are a clear political player in this, in this race. Mm. And Bob Wine could have carried on even if Besige had remained in the race. Okay, away from Bobby Wine. Ms. Lumumba, the opposition appears to be divided, uh, according to the conversation I've, be, I've been having with Sarah Birete, and compared to the NRM. And some people or sections of the public believe that uh, the NRM sends elements into the opposition, infiltrate these organizations or political parties, plant them there to cause disruptions as a strategy to maintain power. What do you say about all these allegations? It's good you have also called them allegations. Mm. And uh, <laughs> there is no evidence to that. Mm. Because <laughs> what happens in political parties, they themselves to undermine each other, they may begin to use that, and that makes them crumble. Mm -hmm. They should also guard against that. Mm. When we're in politics, and you belong to a different political party, if I'm found having a cup of tea with you, they will say she was compromising the person. But yet you have a brain. You, have the, you can choose where to go. You can choose your own. You have the, the, the freedom to have a belonging to where you choose to be. So the issue of political parties, what the challenge we have as a country is that uh, for some time the, the country was, uh, had political turmoil. But when we, 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 we came to 86, there was a challenge of uh, the, having the movement system. Yes, we had it, but the, the, the issue of individual merit is still hanging. There is mm. a hangover of individual merit in the political parties. But also the freedom and also not entrenching in the law, the, political pa the, the, the issues of political parties is also another challenge. Because when you see the current law, when somebody does not follow the party position, Somebody decides to come and uh, participate in the primaries of a party, gets the card of a party, gets to parliament, and decides to do things against 
his or her own party. Mm. And it has happened almost with all political mm. parties. Because see what is happening in DP, mm. see what has happened in FDC, and see what happened. It happened first in NRM. And when it happened in NRM, the other parties clapped. They clapped and they were jubilated about it because it was in NRM. Little did they know that they would come next. Mm. NRM was able to contain itself, had discussions with the members, since we had even lost out in court. Mm. But uh, what I want to know, even when we appealed and won, we still had to maintain one of, our, of, of, of what we stand for, mm. unity and cohesion in the party. Mm. So the, 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 we, we've ha we have had to talk to our members because politics is about numbers. Mm. For me, I come in as Secretary General with the, with the, 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 the feminine attitude mm. of uh, creating unity. Mm. It is a mass party. But in a mass party, you must have contradictions. But how you handle those contradictions is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would do, I've been urging secretaries generals of uh, political parties that what we do, you may have internal misunderstandings. Sometimes you may even disagree on a strategy, but when you want to achieve the same, have discussions. Politics is about talking and listening to people. Mm -hmm. Don't close on your ears as political leaders. All the right. issue she's talking about NRM, that NRM was ring fencing at the top. No, all of these posts were sent out and advertised, and people were free to pick, nominate, express interest mm. in the electoral commission of NRM, and also be nominated. So when she's talking of ring fencing, th there is nothing ring fenced. Mm. I wish you knew what the members of SEC are going through. They had the option of even saying, we have taken a decision as SEC, uh, uh, we are not going for a vote. Mm. They would, have, they would have found how to do it. But they was, they've been subjected to a vote. And leave alone a vote where you find the people in Inamboli. Mm -hmm. This is a vote where you are campaign, when you, where you must have agents at every district headquarters. In NRM, we have 142, 45 districts. So the issue of we have democracy in NRM, but it is the NRM people mm -hmm. to decide. And by the way, even if you've gone through, an, the, it is only one name for a particular post, you must go the full length of the national conference taking a vote because they can even accept you, endorse you, or reject you. They have the power. Okay, please even hold, when it's only please one hold name. that thought. The NRM Secretary General, uh, Ms. Justin Kasula Lumumba, she's not alone. I also have Sara Birete, who is also the course, uh, the executive director for the Center for Constitutional Governance Uganda. My brother Stephen Mbide is on standby in uh, Chadondo at the NRM headquarters and uh, would like to know the status quo of the Central Executive Committee elections today. Very good morning once again. My brother Stephen Mbide, give us a brief overview of what is happening in your location. Nakasero Primary School, just here next to the NRM headquarters, just a stone throw from here, and that is the protein chadon. But here it's where the NRM Central uh, Division, of Cent the Kampala Central uh, leaders that are belonging to the Kampala district of NRM, will be coming in here to do uh, the voting here. But when uh, these uh, NRM members arrive here, they have there is a gentleman at the entrance there who is just there to make sure that their, their temperature is measured and make sure that they are really uh, voters of NRM or members of NRM. And when they re also reach here, there is uh, a gentleman here, they wash their hands before they proceed to the voting area uh, which is here at the Nakasuro Primary School. And some members of NRM have already begun arriving here. Already the Secretary General is there in the studios, has been elaborating on what is going to be taking place today. They've been listening to the messages from uh, the different candidates. Yesterday we had them at the NRM headquarters. They are giving their manifesto and what they are going to be doing there. But here, Around there is the polling uh, area and uh, Colin will be showing you what is, uh, what's happening there where they are planning to do the elections from. Sebamanyaga 
okuvya dala ku kusenkuru wa fe wa mwami kaguta yewe museveni tuzeko tuzeko omumyuka we mwami kigongo tuzeko omumyuka wo kubiri abo yabera mu kyala twinawo babiri twinawo lebeka kadaga ne passe na muganza abo tuzeko uh, and that's what you can do with your name for being in your name. I got in take a take in your quanti, Mugana Kona Mugariachina science. What you want to go and take a take as on as on a goes over a coach. Sepo anti te be no being to really out of our control. Kubanga, uh, or Rako video no Rako video in the nineteen year. Yet we know when I might take a gamin so headache. Yes, I write to Ronze. Uh, mm -hmm. science. Um, this is the one that is the one no is the one that 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 is the one Okay. Okay. A uh, it's a church of the joke, to Wadi, Gronda. Oh, yeah, to chill in tea, will Mutaganenga, Lala Santi, Yenokronda Guni, and Okronda Guni. Yes, sir. Okay, come with the Kona Kuraba, civil Sotia, Ruin Sev, Managafe, Mukosa James, mm. Koranga, Chia Person, you are district, Wakadi, mm. and Waka Valipo, his grave young, the Chia Manua. Uh, and take a take a democracy, a much even at any other member. They were going to be a very more what they were going campaign. Chadet like a democracy. I remember going to be a guru, but we get the guru chairman, the vice chairman, and so on. A democracy, which we know you're going to coach. You can call it two for harmonizing our more of our Ghanaian. Now, you get two for the democracy. When I remember, Kuanga Kakati will have been taken a reward. A cola ganti, the Lamimichi. Democracy. Our cool will not get a ball on the other one. Shana Cunyonte is right, the subject of the Gain and Amboli. Never to Jocolo Murimo, got to run by to call it Namboli. Okay. Mm. Um, so, Amanya Gaffe. Amanya Gang in Zikavagambe Steven, mm. and the secretary of NRM Tapuna's League, Kampala Central. Okay, Kakati, you said you sing about Kuronda Kubao, Wabao, the one good day. Never take Kiris Ganyabrunji, Navy for the Mukuronda. Ona kuruwa yonga tumazo kuba kalulu kusamu inda wajakua wata niso kubanga bala angirida. Wabababa uh, wangu wangu duwa mchivina, urobu mwe chivina cha mwe, guwa gamba chi. Kwe gamba, obogenda mkalulu, uh, waina kuwela uku wangula na uku wangulua. So, murio demokrasi, wabaku wangula kitufo kilize. Mm. Na ifu mweni yare mungamu ya mkimanyi, tetutela kukuruwana gana. Kubanga tukimanyi mburu unyi, this we under democratic dispensation. Well, yeah, the loser and the winner, so that one to take a job to Kosovo. Kwanga to visit Kimani, to Gundi na Gundi, or my is a sing or my is a sing. When I may not reach to call it a chibi in a chafe, attend a Gwanga, Kwanga, the ruling system. Okay. Where are you, sir? Ah, sir, what are you? Ah, money, I can't go to free. Ah, secretary finance, entrepreneurs reach, Kampala district. And take a take a look, sons, and sell more work did that. Go and take a take a look at your wallet. Ah, and take a take a little, Jagara, Okova Zavana Chibi in our NRM. Kibala zinti vete ftefu, mm. uh, okubanti, uh, balo nda wakule mbezewa hawe. Kwa, kwa tu sana mbude, mayoga kele wa ntubadi nga bakelewa. Na ye, uh, te, ifuengeje vya chuse chuse, hamu wagenze wabu uzani, heba sobodo kwa nga wakulachi, nga batu uka. Okay. Nga maliza, kansuke mfile yu mchalo mwye kawa achiri. Yudileko uh, na yatu huli ya manya gene, nte katika yu wajiraba, nebige na maso kwa alirunya wa manya. Amanya ni dobo zi, nze iva virunji. Nze chia person wa women league. Kampala Central District. Uruarero, tuzenga wa nachibina, tugenda kuronda wa kurembeze wa fe, abo kuntiko, abo Central Executive Committee. Okay. Fe, obori yao kwa ukanda kone districts endareza Uganda. Tufu nyomu kisogwe njauru. 
Habe simbye uo. Kumpi nga bisatu vya kuna. Baso wodo kuja. Nibatu anjuli de nteka teka zawe. Mubu untu. Okay. Era tuze. Ganafe tuete setese. Okuronda. Ok. Wabali nyo. Uro wakade kanso. Ok. Muzikiri ze nko mao. Uvori ya wanawa uro wakada. Kala we shall be getting back here. But this is the polling center here at Nakasero Primary School. Inside there, that's where the inner members will be coming in and casting their vote. And of course, at 3 p.m., we are told we shall be knowing all those who will be victorious. This is Stephen Mbido Mfefe Suechibuga coming to you straight from here at Nakasero Primary School. Back to you, Romeo Wusiku, with your guests in the studios. And uh, Stephen Bide, thank you very much for that brief preamble on what we should expect in the elections regarding the Central Executive Committee members who should be filling the nine topmost organs of the NRM. I still do have Ms. Justin Lumumba uh, Kasule and uh, Sara Birete, who is also the Executive Director for the Center for Constitution and Governance Uganda. Um, Ms. Lumumba. I'm going to take you back uh, to 2016, only to get you back to 2020. You were very, very pivotal in uh, preparing that election in 2016 after you took over from Amama Mbabazi, who decided to run for the presidency in that election in 2016. Um, what uh, plan do you have in 2021, this time around? What strategies do you have? One, no politician can clearly spell mm. out his trust strategies to, mm. the, to the public. Because you'll be um, re-empting. Mm. You'll be telling your opponent what you are planning to Same do. Same argument from the opposition. So they are equal, supposed not to tell us. Mm. Because that's, that is supposed to be, those are supposed to be their cards mm. under the sleeves. So if you bring them out, you may have issues. But one, for us as NRM, our spirit, the attitude we have is to get more numbers, get more members to the party. Mm. And... Uh, whether it's right, honorable, or mama and babas. Mm. In NRM, we believe you can disagree on an issue today, but then agree tomorrow on a different issue. So are you telling us so right now, honorable honorable before, mama before you get into that, are you telling us that there is a chance mama and babas you could come back into the fold of the NRM? But you have seen even honorable mama and babas attending yes, some of the functions yes. of, the, mm. of the state. Mm. And we have seen me smiling to him. Mm. You have seen him smiling with the president. Mm. Meaning we could have disagreed in 2006, yeah. but there is a possibility of agreeing in 2021. Mm -hmm. And politics, actually all political parties should work on retaining what they have and bringing more. Mm. That's why when he, she talks of the rebel MPs, MPs and whatnot, I had to look for them as Secretary General mm. and say, we cannot allow these people go. We need them. Mm. Let them come. We fight and quarrel within. But uh, see how we can keep improving and see how we can move together. Because uh, you may not agree with somebody on a political strategy, but then you agree on uh, an economic strategy. You agree on uh, issues to do with the religion or culture, or, or issues to do with the human rights of people. So... Mm. You, you, how you handle it is what is important. The issue of what are we bringing new? As the NRM, if you observe, we've been making our manifesto mm. move. We shall do this. We shall make this road. We shall build the airport. We shall mm. provide water. We shall provide the money for the youth. We shall provide for the women entrepreneurship. We shall provide for, for this. We have been bringing out a manifesto, mm. mostly on the expenditure mm. side. But... COVID is with us. COVID has affected the sector. So there is a shift in the NRM under the leadership of President Yori Kabutam Seveni that we now look on the revenue side. How do we stimulate growth and development? How do we use what we have to make sure we, 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 we reduce on, um, on importation, issues to do with import substitution? But even what we have in terms of value addition when it comes to agriculture, mm. Let me give an example. For us in Musoga, the majority of the people are growing sugar cane. But what do we get out of that? The, 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 these mirrors only extract out the, the liquid to make sugar. Now, Gund is making ethanol, kakira. But what they are throwing away, the, there is more value that we can get from that so that we get to rot. It, the, what we are throwing away can be used for fertilizers. What we are throwing away can be used to make paper. What we are throwing away can be used to make sanitary pads. What we are throwing away can mm. be used to, 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 
for so many things, even those which I may not know. Mm -hmm. So we are also looking into deepening value addition, deepening mm -hmm. modernization and value addition, but also balancing development in mm -hmm. this country. All right. So we shall give details of those after the team that is drafting the manifesto mm -hmm. has, uh, has completed. We shall have to explain to the country mm -hmm. what is new. Because as a, a party in leadership, we are required to give accountability, mm -hmm. but also show what other new issues mm. are we bringing on board. Sarah Bireta, let's talk about the political defections that we've been seeing in the recently. Uh, we've seen uh, people move from the NRM to opposition, from the opposition to NRM, especially the youth. But then you saw Lukwago leave DP to N uh, FDC. You've seen uh, def uh, defections from FDC to NUP and so forth. Do you think all these divisions might play a bad, bad, or might have a major bad impact on the opposition come 2021? Or do you think it will make them even stronger? Get First to of that, all, what yes. is causing these, these defections? Yes, mm. I just have one mm. comment for the SG on, on mm. their strategy and focus as a party. Mm. I know that in uh, 2016 they promised uh, under Chisanja Hakuna Mchezo that this country will attain middle income status in uh, 2020. Mm. I don't know whether, I know COVID broke out in, uh, in early March. Mm. I hope we have not missed middle income because no, of COVID. By, Jan so by like January, Bahati, Bahati, the national planning minister, told us that uh, we were not going to hit the targets because of COVID-19 and so forth. No, no, so co COVID-19 came at the tail end mm. of, their, of their promise. Mm. Because they, if you say Uganda will be middle income status by 2020, uh, it means that January 2020, which mm. was before COVID. Before COVID, yes. Yes, we should have attained the middle income status. Yes. I know that uh, seven districts in Uganda cities, not districts, mm. towns have attained middle income status and that's Kampala, Wakiso, Mokono, Jinja, Mpiji, Masaka and Imbarara. Mm. So I would like to know as a party, mm. they failed on that major promise mm. because by January 2020, mm. Uganda was not a middle income status mm. and we are not yet there. Mm. I saw the st statistics released yesterday. On was, the wasn't impact. that in the National Development Plan 2 from 2015 to 2020? I, 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 I spoke with the, uh, Bahati and he said they missed those targets, but then they put those resolutions in the NDP3 yes, National Development yes, Plan. But, but my comment mm. briefly as I conclude on that issue mm. is they, they have focused a lot on infrastructure. Yes. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Mm. But I know that Uganda also has the most expensive road in the world, the, mm. the, 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 the Entebbe Express Highway. Mm. So the cost at which we are making roads in this country is four times the cost at which Kenya is making similar mm. or better roads. What causes those fluctuations? Two, when you are driving in, in Busoga, where she comes from, as you come from Mumbari, you find on a very good road, people are just driving cassava on the road. Several occasions, I found myself, you, you drive alone from uh, that, when you reach Busoga, you can ride alone on a very beautiful road. There is mm. no car. All you meet is punches of cassava here and there. So what produce, as you develop infrastructure, haven't you ignored so much of what now the president coined as real, real economy versus leisure economy? Haven't you? Versus vulnerable economy. Leisure economy, he used to use those mm. terms in his addresses for COVID. So haven't you ignored so much on encouraging and specifically focusing on production of the people and household poverty or household income as you do infrastructure and spend all our budgets on infrastructure? Where people have nothing to take to markets, where people have nothing to ride on roads. Kampala Fort Porto, you can drive mm. with one or two cars. Kampala Ambare, you can drive alone or even one or two three cars. What are we using mm. these roads for? Mm. But going to your question on, 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 on defections, mm. political dissent, political disagreement, mm. Political crisscrossing should be okay ordinarily mm. if we had the basics clearly laid out. It should be okay for anybody to leave opposition and join an area and otherwise. But the, the problem we have is failure, the weaknesses within our parties. Mm. We, the weaknesses to contain political dissent, weaknesses to build parties based on values and principles. Mm. We have individual interests overriding party interests mm. and the common good of the role that the parties should be playing mm. in the democratic sphere of Uganda. So once you have this slacking, we just have the citizens 
being held hostage mm -hmm. by selfish politicians. So, but it, it should be okay if the DP people, because like, let me use the example of DP. Th there was a long fight in DP. Fight for internal democracy, fight for transparency and accountability, and it was all played out in the media. So when the 10 out of 15 DPMPs shift and join the national, is it the national unity platform? Yeah, national unity uh, platform. Yeah, yeah, join the national unity platform. It is not something that has happened mm. overnight. There were disagreements when they attempted to hold some of the party events, they fought. Mm -hmm. Police had to come over. The vice uh, president, Mkasambide, was, you know, rescued in the toilet. So the, the parties are shabby internally. They are shabby. And, and to me, it's okay if leaders feel that they cannot find what they expect mm -hmm. within one party. Let them move on. They can even create another. Disorganized as it is. Uh, do you think opposition has any chance of transiting President Museveni? They're too disorganized. What do you make of that? The voters, it, uh, let me look at the mm. situation of voters. I know that after 2016 voting, the mm. whole country went silent for a number of days. Especially after Kasese. Yes, after Kasese. No, even before Kasese. After casting the vote. Uh, first of <laughs> all, we had a challenge yes. in Kampala and Watiso. Majority of voters were denied a chance to vote. Mm. Ballot materials, voting materials were delivered at 4, at 3 p.m. Some were burnt in Makinde, in Chubuli, Kampala and Wakiso. A population of about 5 million voters were intentionally denied a chance mm. to vote. We also saw the failure by electoral commission, and I hope the, 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 the commissioners are watching. Mm. There was no national tally of elections. Nambole was empty. And we had elections wired through a website. So after that, the country went silent. Mm. Until the time when Mbaba's filed the petition. Mm. The country went silent. And Arim even was unable to celebrate. In Kampala, in so many places, even after announcing mm. elections, they could not even celebrate. Yes, they attempted there was deafness. Yes. Mm. So that situation, and, and, and I hope uh, Honorable Mumba, we will not, because she's a major player, I mm. hope we will not see a reoccurrence of this situation. That situation that had sent the people quiet, mm -hmm. the citizen should not be taken for granted. Miss mm. Lumumba, what are your reactions to uh, Sara Birete's submission? One, the issue of uh, middle income status, yes, we promised, mm. and we've not achieved it. Mm. And uh, it is not stated that it ought to have been in January 2020. Mm. The issue is 2020. Mm. Yes. But we have come out to say that we have not been able to achieve it, mm. even before the end of 2020. In December, And uh, mm. it could have even come in December, because mm. the, the Tanzania was just announced a few weeks ago. Mm. Yeah. So that means it could have even happened, mm. even after January. Mm. I don't want her to stick on January. Mm. But we have come out even to explain and say we've not been able. Mm. So when we talk of... Uh, our manifesto and giving accountability to, to, to the Ugandans, that is part of the accountability we have to give. When you are counting, you are able to, 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 to state what you've been able to achieve and what you have not been able to achieve and give the reason why and what you intend to do about it. So that one is not a secret. It, it is open. We started talking about it and telling Ugandans. And we are going to do it and put it in writing. The issue she's talking about to uh, the internal democracies, internal democracies, we have to work as a country and entrench the multi party politics in our in our um, in our parties. Mm. We have to work and entrench on uh, the issues of the freedoms within the political parties. Because some of those who you say it is good to move, it is good to move. Why are they moving away? Why don't they stay and build and improve on, on, on what is happening in those political parties? Because they are the leaders. It is those leaders who are crossing over that you see they have announced they've left. Because if you're a member of parliament mm. and you belong to a political party, how can 10 of you leave the political party? Then tomorrow, you, where you've gone, if you're not given leadership, you run back. We sh people should be crossing when they've disagreed on issues of principles, mm. not personal interests. So what they, we've, seen, we've seen some yes. people in this country who are always jumping to get a vehicle to arrive where they want but to But why go. has the NRM but party failed politics, to attract these key opposition figures? That politics, by mm. the way, do you know how many opposition people we have taken? Help you may not have that. looked mm. at it. How many? 
haven't you seen the minister of Kampala putting, staring his UPC, but she's serving the NRM government? The UPC has always, always, you has seen always her quoted NRM. Haven't you seen her doing mm. NRM work? As she's cross. Haven't you seen her doing NRM UPC work? UPC married the NRM then, in 2016. haven't you seen Honorable <laughs> Chienji Nachiwala? Mm. She, she's now a flag, uh, she's now contesting to be a flag bearer in Bukoman Simbi. She was a DP. Haven't you seen Honorable Anywa a team, the MP of Chitugumu municipality? She was in FDC. She's now in NRM. So uh, you, you observe, you watch. So when you, for me, what, what I don't like about the politics by we, the leaders, is let's disagree on the issue of principle. Mm. But not to disagree because of you have individual differences with person. Mm. Because when we carry that, we shall not be able to develop multi-party politics. And we who are in leadership now should live in whatever political party should live when we have improved on on on, on the internal democracies. Mm. And uh, because of issues of internal democracies and even how we carry out our internal democracies, I want to agree with her. Some people move. Because they, 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 they are looking out for options mm -hmm. of where they can either use another vehicle to arrive, but also, most importantly, expressing their dissatisfaction so they are not with some for, of our internal... They are not looking for parties to share ideals, but just a cover. Some of them parliament. do it because of the internal, internal administrative gaps we may have as, as political party administrators. So I want to... to, to to say mm. we need to sit and see how do we entrench the multi-party practice mm. in the constitution, in the laws, but mm. also improve on the practice. Okay, address the so rebel MPs. It. They apologized, uh, they met the president and you said that they had apologized for trying to divide the country, but then they also, the, the NRM party, but then they also came out and they addressed the media and said we did not apologize. Help us set the record straight. I, I don't remember saying anywhere that they apologize. I do remember a clip. Ms. Lumumba, you said, said the rebel MPs I have apologized. They had a discussion mm. with me as a secretary mm. general at Plot 10. Mm. And Tinkasi we had yet, a discussion yeah. with the national chairman mm. of NRM. Mm. And after those discussions, the national chairman of NRM r r I mean, took the issue to Central Executive Committee. Members of the Central Executive Committee gave the responsibility to the Secretary General to write whatever discussion and what they had agreed on with the chairman should be put in black and white and then they should be able to follow the code of conduct of the party which is the shed for the fourth shed in the constitution but also I take back a report to the Central Executive Committee mm. and I wrote to them and some have responded some have not yet responded, and I'm going to carry back the report the Central Executive Committee. They had an interaction with the, the Secretary General and the National Chairman. But even then, let me say, mm. if I have a discussion with you mm. as a fellow adult, mm. because this is politics, mm. all above 18 are mm. fellow adults, mm. and uh, somebody says, yes, we mm. disagreed here, mm. but we have been able to agree on this. Yes. Out of the 10 issues, you were able to disagree on mm. one, but mm. we have agreed on nine issues. Mm. And this should also be a principle in life. Because mm. I've seen people judging mm. others, throwing them off very fast. Mm. Yet somebody has been so good to you, you've moved the journey. True. Then when you get somewhere, somebody makes one mistake. Mm. You forget all of the other 99 good things somebody has done. And you, 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 you cling on this one who, issue for mm. which you are not happy mm. and the one issue the one percent makes you forget the 99 okay let's I, not cling on this for issue i come also to politics yes. with that a, a few days ago miss lumumba the president gave out 68,700 uh, bicycles uh, to the chairperson village chairpersons to aid them in mobilization in the forthcoming 2021 elections how sure can we be that this was in taxpayers money this was a donation from friends in china mm. It was a donation. Mm. So they and they will have to declare it to the Electoral Commission, mm. the Independent Electoral Commission, because that's where we declare our assets mm. and liabilities as a party. Mm. So we will do that. Okay, also help us address that issue, the itchy relationship between you and the Electoral Commission, NRM, Electoral Commission Chairperson Tanga Odoi. You weren't seeing eye to eye. How was that issue resolved? First of all, I'm the head of the Secretariat. Mm. The Electoral Commission 
is part of the secretariat. Mm. For me, as a head of a secretariat, mm. somebody who has been in politics for the last 20 years, mm. by the way, I joined the politics at 27, mm. and I'm now 47. So, you've never had me come out to send a message back to Dr. Tango Doi, despite all that what he says. Because leadership means that you have to shock, mm -hmm. to shock absorb even such things. For me as Secretary General, we've not had a meeting or a discussion where we've failed to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've not had a time where we have failed to have a meeting to discuss issues of the party mm -hmm. with Dr. Tango Doi or with anybody at the mm -hmm. Secretariat. All right. I separate personal mm. and the institutional issues. Okay. And that has made me move on. It's not that all of those I work with are my good friends. No. But this is not my father's house. But at least this you've, is ironed, an out, you've ironed out some of there these allegations. There is nothing to do that say mm. that I and out because mm. we've never had a meeting to say we disagreed here, let's agree on this. Mm. We dis no. For me, it is an issue of this is what we are supposed to do. Mm. We call, we go to a table, we discuss. And whatever we have agreed to do All is right. what I have to make sure is implemented as a secretary. Unfortunately, Ms. Lumumba, we've run no, out of time. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Ms. Sarabirete has a few words to say before we shut down this conversation. Ms. Sarabirete, briefly, in a minute, what are your last remarks? My last remarks is a call one to the political actors to play mm. fair and observe the mm. rules, including COVID, yes. COVID regulations. Mm. My other call is to the police. The police's duty is to protect and safeguard the rights of all mm. Ugandans. They are so far doing very badly. Mm. They should not be partisan. The Constitution, the Political Partisan Organizations Act, prohibits their partisan conduct that they are exhibiting already. Mm. They act in most cases like a military wing of NRM, which is very wrong in abuse mm. of all laws of Uganda, of the Republic of Uganda. Mm. And my last call is to the Electoral Commission the mandate to ensure that we have free mm. and fair credible mm. elections mm. is vested on the electoral commission and not the police or any agencies. Sarah so they should come out mm. and clarify issues where political actors are treated unfairly mm. because they are the ones charged with that. Sarah Birete, the executive director for the Center for Constitutional Governance. We've also been added another minute for the NRM Secretary General Kasula Lumumba to briefly give us your last remarks. One, mm. nobody is above the law. Amazing. And everybody should be, we should all be treated equally under the law. Yes. Law enforcement officers, do your work. Because if you decide not to do your work, you may cause death. And yet with death, there is no reverse. We need everybody. For political actors like me, please follow the law. Don't think because you, you are so popular in an area, that makes you be above the law. Follow the law. And if you have written to police, with this technology, you show that you have written to police. You show the country that, you know, according to this law, I've been able to do this and I've informed the police. So that he, nobody wakes up to say, maybe uh, they didn't fulfill the requirements of the law. Uh, uh, Preempt that. Mm -hmm. But what is, I want to say last is that members of the National Conference, please go and take a vote on all of the nine the nine positions but only those who are spelled out in section 11 of the nrm constitution should vote new sub counties new town councils where we've never held elections for the leadership positions should not vote this is a legal process chairpersons of nrm administrative secretaries and returning officers this is a legal process should you compromise and make mistakes it can cost us at a certain point in this process. Be careful. It has not been easy. I know it's hectic. But when you are more stressed, that's when you, 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 you make more faults or you, fa you, 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 you lead others also into making All faults. Right. Be very careful. The I thank you. I wish the candidate success. And I wish NRM to have a successful exercise. The NRM Secretary General Kasula Lumumba, she was not alone. I also had Sara Birete, the Executive Director for the Center for Constitutional Governance in Uganda. It's been a very, very heated debate. I hope you did borrow a leaf or two. My name is Romy Busiku. Look out for the elections uh, for the Central Executive uh, Committee uh, members right there who are vying for the nine topmost 
organs within the NRM. We shall be relaying those uh, videos uh, later on as the uh, proceedings get on underway at Chad Dondo, the, hen the NRM headquarters. My name is Romeo Busiku. Do link up at 1 p.m. for another update with, uh, about the day's developing stories. Have yourselves a blessed day.